Good morning, everyone. Just doing some fishing from the Hobie kayak this morning. Got some 77 degree Fahrenheit water temperatures. Went out and got some crabs last night, some shore crabs and some green crabs. Flipped some rocks. And I think the main goal for today is gonna be fluke, tog, porgy, maybe some striper or blues if they're around. But mostly doing some bottom fishing. So the first thing that I wanna do here is mark this boulder off. This is gonna be the boulder that we tog fish on in a little bit. It's, uh, right now it's around nine feet tall. It kind of drops down, but it's low tide on a moon, on, a, on the new moon, so it's a little lower than it normally is, but as the tide starts to go up, this rock is gonna be submerged about five feet. Um, so nine, it'll be about a, a 14 foot drop, which is kind of ideal um, depth for, for tog fishing this time of year. That's kind of the, the, the depth that they're at. They're usually between 10 and about 30 feet. All right, now we got that out of the way. Let's see if there's any striper around. I'm gonna start off with this purple chartreuse shad. I have a hard time saying chartreuse, but chartreuse shad, four and a half inch. There's a ton of bait around here, which is good. It looks like there's bluefish on it. Not too sure, but there's definitely some kind of game fish moving around here down at the bottom. Uh, could be fluke, not too sure. There's definitely some kind of game fish around here right now. Where I'm casting to right now is kind of like a drop. Um, we got a, an incoming tide right now. Just switch, it's kind of still slack, but it's, it's switching from bottom of the out to incoming. Tide is pushing towards us right now. A lot of fish over here. There we go, fish on. Nice. This feels like a bass. 77 degree water temperature is pretty crazy. Is it a bass? I'm gonna be really happy if it's a bass. Could be a blue. I really don't know now. Kind of confused. It was nice, whatever it is. Got some bizarre head shakes. Might be a weak fish. Love to just know what it is. Big weak fish, big weak fish, big weak fish. Yeah, dude, what? Dude, what a freaking year for these weak fish, man. I think that they're right there. I think there's a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, my screen is lit up right now. Dude, what a freaking year for these fish, man. Make sure you wet your hands before you touch these guys. Get my board ready. This is a nice one. What a freaking year, man. On the purple shad. Look at that guy. So sick, man. I'm so hyped. This year has been amazing for the weak fish. 22 inches. Whoa. Let's 
like stuck. later but he got stuck back here but he swam off very strong that's what's up man dude there i think there's a bunch of them over here they like uh bright colors purple purple pink sick that's a great fish to start off this is gonna be good. I think there's a bunch over there I'm marking them. This has been uh, a really phenomenal year for these weak fish. Come on, Striper. I know you're over here. I know there's at least a couple. Will they bite? I don't know about that, but they're around. Something just jumped right here. Right there. There we go, got him. I think this is, what the heck is this? Is this a fluke? I think we just locked into a fluke. What the heck is this? Maybe a small bluefish? Just saw it jump. No, it's another weak fish. What the heck is that? That can't be a weak fish. They don't act like that. What is this? Oh, yeah, blue. Saw him jump over there. Might be dealing with a lot of these today. It's kind of that time of year. Eh, at least he spit it out. There goes the plastic. I'm gonna try the Blast and Bass topwater lure. Shout out to Blast and Bass for sending me this lure. Much appreciated. Let's see if they're See if maybe the bass are interested in top water. Here comes that sun. Oh, something just went nuts for it. <laughs> Something's on it. Oh, fish on. Got him. On that blast and bass lure. Is it a blue? Yeah, blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> it's too bad the bass uh, aren't really on the top water feed anymore. But, uh. See if I can just pop this hook out. But these, uh, -hoo 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 -hoo. yeah, that's fun. <laughs> well, to give you a chance to listen to the rattle. Come on, buddy. Just spit up a whole bunch of something. I don't know what he just spit up, but a whole bunch of something. <laughs> oh, that scared me so bad. <laughs> Dang, he is on it. Still on it. Still on it. Oh! 
<laughs> yeah, that's sick. <laughs> oh man, I love the spook. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Small blues, but there might be a bass mixed in. You never know. It just, uh, it's just that time of year, you know, where it's the water temperature is warm. And it's tough to, tough to get through these guys. It's kind of a nice eater. I'm tempted to keep this one, but hoping really to get on the tow tog and. Uh, I only have so much room in my cooler. Whew. This is the size you don't really want to mess with because they will give you one stitches. See? Or you'll get hooked in the face. This is called rain bait right here. The bait is just so freaking small, man. I mean, it's like that big. So I think I'm gonna make a quick, let me try the fluke for a bit. But I really think just, just with all the blues around a hard bait, just makes way more sense to use. But I'm gonna try the zoom fluke just for a minute. There is definitely a weak fish around, but you can see all the bait right here. It's just, it's so small. Fish on. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to get through these blues. There's just a lot of them. So I think that, I think the epoxy jig is really gonna be the way to work, to work this morning. I mean, they're nice. They're fun to catch, but they're just gonna explode my plastics. You gotta be careful with them for sure. Oh. 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 Yeah, even ones this size, you know, they'll get you. They'll definitely give you, uh, here, I've got an example of what the bait looks like. It's right here. As you can see, that's the bait. It's like these little teeny glass minnows. Well, not much luck on the fluke, and the fluke has been pretty bad this year, but... I think we have enough depth to get into the tog, so I'm gonna switch to the tog. I'm gonna use this uh, 3 8 ounce bottom sweeper jig. As you can see, I've collected a whole bunch of crabs. Probably got about two, yeah, maybe 150, 200, quite a lot. But before I start doing this, I'm gonna prepare them by cutting up all of their legs. Get that all set up and prepared. So I've got some to chum with, and then I've got some to use for bait. Chumming this area first. But let's see if these togs are here. If they're not here now, they'll eventually show up. Definitely had one visitor already show up. Eleven feet of water here. Yeah, they're here. They're here for sure. That's a talk. 
Oh, sea bass. Wow. That's cool. Nice. Looks like probably 13 inches or something. Well, we'll never know. I'm definitely interested in sea bass, so if they're here, that's that's a bonus. hit immediately. Come on. Sea bass. Wow. Another sea bass. They're pretty good size. Uh, so I'm curious, like, what what world we're in already because if we can get sea bass i'm all about it so that's 12. i gotta look up the regulation i think that there's 16 this year but i'm totally down to to keep sea bass for sure for sure but i do think that a lot of these are sea bass They're not doing that that dig that Tog do. There we go. That's a dog. No, sea bass. All right. All right. Hey, I'll take it. Nothing wrong with catching sea bass. They taste delicious. There we go, it feels good. That feels good. Come on. Nice sea bass. I think that's our keeper right there. That's a nice one. Let's check it out. Maybe not, but we'll see. Getting bigger, that's a good sign. Oh, 15, damn. Still a nice fish though. Oh, they're getting bigger, that's good. There we go. Is that a tog? Oh, there we go, that's the target species right there. That's what we're looking for. Nice. All right, so they're here. Sea bass are just get can't get through the sea bass. Is probably what's happening. All right, it's a good sign. They're here. What's up, buddy? Tog are slimy critters. That's for sure. All right, so let's just keep keep chumming here. And they're eventually going to start blowing up. Whew. All right, nice. Here's the tog. All right, we're getting into them now. Getting a keeper, that's going to be tricky. Because it seems like they're on the small side, but we'll get one. Just a matter of kind of weeding through them. But target species, so that's good. Cut myself pretty bad. 
Yowza, that hurt. Barb got me pretty good. Oh man, that hurt. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, well, they're getting bigger. Not, not keeper size, but they are getting bigger. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, big sea bass. <laughs> nice. Sick. Is it a keeper though? I don't know. It looks like another 15. Let's see. It's like locking into a freaking brick. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Even smaller, it's like 14. Still fun to be catching them though. There we go. It seems like the tog are on the right side of this rock and the sea bass are on the left. Oh, that's a porgy. All right, we're catching everything today. Definitely just brought a bunch of life around. I'm starting to mark the bat, the sea bass now. They have very particular swim bladders. They're decent size, it's just uh, having trouble getting a keeper. That's a nice sea bass. They're all pretty nice. Just uh, that 16 is, you'll know. I think this is another 15. That's like 14. They're definitely here. Starting to mark them pretty good. Ooh. Well, we're hitting the target species, which is good. And I think I have them kind of narrowed down to where they're hanging out. It seems like the tog are on the back side of the rock. The sea bass are on the front side. It's interesting how that works. I'm guessing the tog are hiding behind the current. I'm not sure, but that's definitely what they're doing. I'd be good with the tog or a sea bass. Either one I'm, I'm good with. Just wanna get one keeper. Fun to catch. I think this is a porgy. Yeah, it's a porgy. 
But we're doing pretty well, like, as far as the species go today. Got the dog, we got the corgi, we got the sea bass. It's pretty good. That feels good. Nice porgy. Probably keep him. That's a nice one. Should probably keep this, but. Yeah, let's keep it. Why not? Savages. I think these are bluefish, but I mean, you never know. It could be anything. No! 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 Did he get it? He bit it off. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> oh, I'd be so bummed if I lost that lure. Still got it. Yeah, these are definitely bluefish. Oh, my lure. That was a close one. Oh, I almost got it. But it didn't. But it didn't. Try throwing the pink shine on for these sea bass. Maybe they'll like that. feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Nice fluke. Not a keeper though. But at least we got one. At least we know they're here. Sick. Doing pretty good. If we could just get the striper, I mean, then we'd have the slam. Nice. That's six inch Cajun chicken. Mm. About to switch back to the dog here. Oh, just getting annihilated by the porgy. That feels good. That feels good. Hopefully it's not a foul hook porgy. Oh, there's a sea bass on that Cajun chicken. Nice. All right, so they're still here on that Cajun chicken. Sick, not keeper. That feels pretty good. Ah, I just can't seem to get a keeper. I mean, they're nice fish, but I just can't seem to get a keeper. They're all like in this 14 foot range. foot, I mean 14 uh, inch range. <sighs> I guess he's got to keep grinding. Porgies are killing me, Smalls. Really, really do me in here. I 
think I'm just going to do a big drift. Just, just stop caring. That feels good. Uh, it kind of feels like a snag porgy, actually. No, it's a porgy in the mouth. Really nice one. On the pink shine. They taste good. I like porgy. Yeah, this is a nice one, so we can keep this one. And it didn't destroy the uh, the pink shine. So, we shall eat this boogie. Basically keeping porgy as bycatch today. And only if they're big. I'm not really targeting them. Come hither. I'm tired. I don't feel like dealing with you. In lounge position. So it's called lounge fishing. Ooh. Just want to get a keeper sea bass. That would really make my day. There's so many of them over here. But I just can't get a keeper. Feels pretty good. This one feels good. This might be it. Nope, just a fatty. They are getting bigger though. This one's kind of in line with, yeah, that's like, 14, 15 inches, it's just under, but we're getting there. We are getting somewhere now. Nah, it's like 14 inches. Man, I can't catch a keeper. This stinks. We're really trying. I'm gonna try that Cajun Cricket again. Yeah, they're more into the pink shine. Let's keep doing the pink shine. I just can't get a keeper. I'm really trying here. So many shorts, you'd think that there would be at least one keeper in here. Nice dog. Not a keeper, but pretty nice one. Is it worth measuring? I think it's like 14 inches. Yeah, that's a short. Still fun though. Still fun though. Maybe some big ones rolled in. Nice porgies. Nice. It's a big one. 
nice thing about fishing with crabs is you do get nice porgy as bycatch. They're definitely down there, I just, no keepers. Feels like a fish. What is that? On the Cajun chicken. Feels really good, whatever this is. Let me at least find out what it is. Oh, 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 oh
Um, I just have so much fun, like, targeting them for some reason. I don't know what it is. This year I just got obsessed, but the bass really aren't around, I don't think. I think they're in either deeper water or migrated north of the residents or just hiding somewhere. I, I just don't know where they are, but, you know, 78 degree water, kind of tough to catch bass, but pretty good day. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I, I had a good time. I hope you did too. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.